Okay, so today I'll be talking about how to craft a unique and creative resume. So essentially the purpose of a resume is to present yourself in an attractive manner to seduce the recruiter into giving you a job. So most of you know that a resume should be one page long. And the reason for this is because a typical data science job has about 600 to 700 applicants. And imagine you're a recruiter and you have to go sit through all those applications and each resume is two to five pages long because everyone has a lot to say and they can sum it down to just one page. That's roughly 1,200 to 3,500 pages to read which is absolutely insane so that's why a resume is typically just one page long all right so now that we know why a resume should just be one page let's talk about how to fit all your information in one page what I recommend is listing out all the experience you have relevant or not all the information you'd like to add and like your employer to know just list all of that out on a word or Google Doc remember to include all the achievements you've accomplished and anything else that you think is relevant now put yourself in the employer's shoes and think about what they would want to see or what they would find attractive from all the things you listed out. If you're finding it hard to put yourself in an employer's perspective or employer's shoes, then I recommend looking up some of the jobs that you're looking into and look at the job description. It should list criteria or factors that they wanna see. And if you have anything similar, put that on your resume. If you have enough to fill a whole page, great. If you don't, then you might wanna start looking to get more experience. I recommend doing personal projects to gain more experience. And I'll be posting a video soon on how to expand your experience through projects and share your experience through your web portfolio. All right, so when you're creating your bullet points for your resume, you wanna be very intentional with the words you choose to use as these words are gonna go through an ATS scan and that's gonna determine if a recruiter sees your resume or not. Most people don't realize that over 50% of resumes are rejected through the ATS scan. ATS stands for Application Tracking System, and this system helps recruiters preset the requirements they're looking for in their job description onto the system. And this system then narrows down the flock to show recruiters the top candidates among the selection. The whole point of this ATS scan is to filter down applications so that the recruiter doesn't have to spend so much time doing that themselves. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about bullet points because there's other videos out there that do a better job. So what I do recommend is using AI. Recently, with the dramatic growth of AI, there's a lot of tools out there that can help you make or design good bullet points for your resume. I'll, I'll list some examples down in the description below. I've also linked other resources in the description below that tell you what words you should use, what words to avoid, and how to structure your sentences when you're making bullet points. All right, the next step is to pass an ATS scan. And hopefully if you follow all the steps before, your resume should be good enough to pass an ATS scan. But to be safe, I recommend using job scan to check if your resume meets the criteria of your job description. It's a very easy website to use. You just copy the job title and the job description and upload your resume. And then I'll show you a score of your resume based on those criteria. I personally think a score above 70% is good, but I would strive for the 90s just to be safe. I also have linked several other YouTubers and content creators in the description below who have very good videos describing how to make good resumes that I continuously follow to improve my resume. Lastly, we get into my favorite part, the funnel system. I decided to design a funnel system for my resume. I personally don't think I can sum up my entire life in just one page to put on a resume. So I decided to leave links here and there on my resume for recruiters to go click and see if they're interested. So many businesses use funnel systems to scale and upsell their business. I decided to take a book out of their page and use it for my resume. After all, the whole point of a resume and applying for jobs is to sell yourself the best you can. The way I do it is by adding hyperlinks to my resume. So my personal resume has several hyperlinks and the main one is to my landing page. I crafted a web portfolio with a landing page that I designed specifically for recruiters to see and I did it in an organized manner. I was very intentional when I laid out my landing page. I did it in such a way where the information there was coherent and did a good job representing me. My landing page has my blog, my newsletter, and some about me information that includes my hobbies and other things. Also in my newsletter, I talk about things I've learned that week that include some stuff about data, AI, machine learning, and my other hobbies and interests. This gives them a brief idea of who I am and what I like as a person. And from here, they can decide if I'm a good fit for them or not. I also have my mission statement and my values listed on my web portfolio. This helps them understand me better and see if I resonate with their values and their mission statement. I got this idea from the seven habits of highly effective people. On top of that, I included links to my projects on my resume. So at any given time, I have two to four projects on my resume and I designed the resume so that the hyperlinks are there that direct them to the Kaggle pages where I did a well-written report on those projects. So during the interviews, the recruiters could just click those links and talk to me about my projects, ask me questions. This helps narrow down the questions they need to ask and you know direct them towards stuff I've already done. This helps me because I have more talking points, I understand the material better, I can answer the questions and I can talk about what I would do now since those projects have been done in the past and I've changed since then. It also shows that I have a growth mindset and that I like to continuously learn. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to check the description down below. I've linked some sample resumes that I recommend you following. There's certain formats that work well and there's certain that don't. So stick to the formats that work well, it'll help you out a lot. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. I think it's good, baby.